percent on twenty nine thousand, or whatever the total value you will get for twelve months on that sixty percent. That's it. Employer is giving seven thousand two hundred, but it is exempt up to only two thousand four hundred. Remaining four thousand eight hundred is taxable. Standard deduction is always fixed. How much? Fifty thousand. So standard deduction and professional tax paid of two thousand four hundred. Balance six lakh twenty thousand two hundred. This value is called income from salary. Hello everyone, I'm Arun Kumar, lecturer in the Department of Commerce and Management, Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Dear students, welcome to this new session on Unit Number Two, Session Three. The topic is income from salary. So, in the earlier session, dear students, we discussed about what is HRA and how to compute HRA, and we also discussed. how to you know give the how to evaluate a small car and the big car if it is given by the employer and we also solved a few problems with respect to income from salary right so in this session dear students we are going to solve a few more problems with respect to income from salary so that you will get the clarity about the topic income from salary and it will be very easy to you to solve the problems in your main exam so let us move on to solve the problems problem number 3 Datri is providing the following information: basic salary twenty nine thousand per month. So what you are supposed to do? You are supposed to do it for twelve months, right? Next, DA sixty percent of basic salary and it enters into part of retirement benefits. So sixty percent on twenty nine thousand or whatever the total value you will get for twelve months on that sixty percent. That's it. Next. Bonus is twenty four thousand. Okay, it is the total value is given. It is not given per per month basis. Next entertainment allowances five hundred per month is given. Do it for twelve months. You will get nearly six thousand, right? Okay. Next HRA is given five thousand per month. Rent paid is six thousand per month. Okay, we have to do the adjustment for uh, you know HRA. And education allowances is given for two children. He is giving three hundred rupees per child. Okay, per child is giving three hundred for two childrens is giving. Okay, per month is giving three hundred for two childrens. How much is giving? Is giving six hundred for twelve months for two childrens. Next, employer contribution to RPF. That means here the employer is contributing towards the RPF. Yes, we are supposed to take that amount and it is exempt up to how much? Twelve percent of salary, right? Employer contribution to RPF twenty eight thousand from that less exempt up to twelve percent of salary. Next employee contribution to RPF. This one we are not supposed to consider employee contribution to RPF because employee contribution it comes under deduction under section eighty. Okay, it comes under deduction under section eighty. So we are not supposed to consider this employee contribution to RPF while you are computing income from salary. Okay. Next interest on RPF, interest on RPF, five thousand two hundred. Okay, at twelve percent. That means five thousand two hundred is worth of twelve percent. So it is exempt up to we have exemption limit with respect to interest on RPF. So what is that exemption limit? The exemption limit is nine point five percent. So up to nine point five percent it is exempt. Remaining will be taxable. Next company has given a sweeper. And watchmen, their monthly salary is thousand two hundred and three thousand two hundred respectively. We are supposed to do it for twelve months. She is allowed to use one small car for both office and personal purpose, and expenses are paid by company. So it is small car. So what is the value for small car? Yes, thousand eight hundred rupees for car and nine hundred rupees for. Driver, so thousand eight hundred into twelve and nine hundred into twelve. So by using this information, we are supposed to compute the income from salary for the assessment year of Dhatri. So let us move on to the solution part. So computation of income from salary for the assessment year two thousand twenty two twenty three. So particulars amount amount basic salary. So what is the basic salary given in the problem? It is twenty nine thousand per month. So twenty nine thousand per month into twelve months. How much we will get? We will get three lakh forty eight thousand. Next, go with sixty percent of basic salary. So do three lakh forty eight thousand. Three lakh forty eight thousand 
into 60 percent you will get 208,800 okay next bonus it is given 24,000 entertainment allowances is given how much it is rupees 500 per month it is given in the problem 500 into 12 you will get total of 6,000 next education allowances is given 300 rupees per child for how many they are given two children for 12 months totally you will get 7200 but it is exempt up to the limit is there to give education allowance what is that limit the limit is 100 per child maximum of two children for 12 months okay you can give 100 rupees per child maximum of two children that is the limit okay you can't give as much as you want okay so you can't give as much as you want so the limit is 100 rupees per child maximum you can give for two children so the total comes to 2400 employer is giving 7200 but it is exempt up to only 2400 remaining 4800 is taxable very easy next hra okay now we are supposed to compute taxable hra how we are supposed to compute first we are supposed to take hra received so what is the hra received in the problem yes hra received is 5000 per month so 5000 per month into 12 months 5000 per month into 12 months how much you will get 60000 less least of the below less least of the below in that hra received 60000 first point next rent paid minus 10 percent of salary right so what is the rent paid rent paid is 6000 per month into 12 months how much you will get you will get 72,000 right 6,000 into 12 months 72,000 so rent paid is 72,000 minus 10 percent of salary 10 percent of salary now here what is the meaning of salary for computation of HRA basic salary DA commission right so basic salary is given how much 3 lakh 48,000 is the basic salary okay and DA they are mentioned in the problem that it enters into retirement benefit so we have to take DA also what is the DA value 2 lakh 8800 right so now total 5 lakh 56800 so 5 lakh 56800 into 10 percent into 10 percent how much you will get 10 percent value you will get 55680 so minus that from 72 you will get balance of 16,320 okay next 40% of salary that means where is working that is not mentioned so we are taking 40% of salary so on this value on, on 5,56,800 compute 40% compute 40% you will get 2,22,720 2,22,720 so now in these three in these three whichever is low which hour is low so which is the least value in this 16,320 right so deduct 16,320 from 60,000 you will get balance of 43,680 this is called taxable you know, HRA next employer contribution to RPF so how much employer is contributing is contributing 28,000 so employer contribution 28,000 less exempt up to so it is exempt up to employer contribution is exempt up to 12 percent of salary again what is salary for this purpose basic salary da commission so commission is not there basic salary da is given on this compute on 5 lakh 56 800 compute 12 percent how much you will get 66816 so here the taxable value comes to nil because he is contributing less than the exemption limit or you can say the exemption limit is more than what is contributing that is why the taxable RPF will be nil so you can contribute up to 66,000 but he contributed only 28,000 so the taxable value comes to nil next moving on interest on RPF so in the problem they had given at 12 percent so 12 percent what is the value they had given 5,200 see 5,200 is for 12 percent what is the value for 9.5 percent whatever the amount is receiving 5200 it is for 12 percent or it, it valued for 12 percent so if it is valued for 12 percent what is the value for 9.5 percent you will get the value of 4116 4116 
So deduct this, balance you will get 1084, okay, this is taxable. Sweeper facility 1212 months, yes, 14,400. Watchman facility 3,212 months, yes, 38,400. Car facility, it is a small car. So, 1,800 for car, 900 for driver, very easy. So, 21,600, 10,800, total 32,400 for car. So, now, total the outer column, total the outer column, 3,48 2,8,800, 24,000, 6,000, 4,800, 43,680 and 1,084, 14,400, 38,400 and 32,400. So total you will get 7,21,564, 7,21,564. This value is called what? This value is called gross salary. So from gross salary less standard deduction. So standard deduction it's always fixed it is 50,000. So less standard deduction of 50,000 you will get balance of 6,71,564. So this value is called income from salary. 6,71,564 is called income from salary. So I hope all of you understood how to solve the problem. So now let us move on to the next problem. Problem number 4. Mr. Ruddi is working as manager in LMS Company Limited at Mumbai. At Mumbai. His particulars of income for the previous year are as follows. So basic salary 25,000 per month. DA 70% of basic salary. CCA that is city compensatory allowances 500 per month. TA is nothing but traveling allowances. So 600. He is getting 600 rupees but he spent only 300 for official purpose so remaining 300 is going to be taxable so 300 into 12 months you will get 3600 so this 3600 is taxable next entertainment allowances yes 1600 per month bonus equals to two months of basic salary so basic salary is how much 25000 two months of basic salary is how much yes it is 50000 so bonus equals to two months of basic salary that is 50,000. Next medical reimbursement is rupees 60,000 treatment taken in hospital that is in private hospital. I will show you, I will, I will explain you while solving the problem how we are supposed to treat that particular medical reimbursement. Next children education allowance 800 per month per child for two children's. Next he contributes 15% of his salary to RPF and company also contributes 15% of salary that is equal amount whatever is contributing that is whatever the employee is contributing same percentage same 15% company is also contributing water bill of 8000 rupees and electricity bill of 5000 rupees paid by company okay it is not per month the total value is given 8000 water bill and 5000 electricity bill next he paid 2400 rupees per annum as professional tax. So this professional tax, we are going to deduct it from gross salary. So let us solve the problem. Computation of income from salary for the assessment year. Okay, particular amount, amount is the format. So basic salary, yes, what is the basic salary? Basic salary is 25,000, 25,000 per month into 12 months, you'll get three lakh rupees. Next, DA 70% of basic salary, so 3 lakh, 3 lakh is the total basic salary on this compute 70%, you will get 2 lakh 10,000, you will get 2 lakh 10,000. Next CCA is given in the problem, what is the CCA? City compensatory allowances, it is 500 per month into 12 months, you will get 6,000, okay. Education allowances is given, 800 rupees per child for 2 children, the total value comes to 19,200. But what is our exemption limit? 100 rupees per child, maximum of two children for 12 months. The maximum amount is 2,400. Remaining 16,800 is taxable. Next, entertainment allowances is given. Entertainment allowances is how much? 19,200. So here entertainment allowances you can see, 1,600 per month into 12 months, you will get 19,200. Next, bonus equals to two months of basic salary, total comes to 50,000. Medical reimbursement, yes, 
we have adjustments. So medical re reimbursement 60,000 but we can exempt the medical reimbursement amount up to 15,000 not more than 15,000 okay. So exempt 15,000 remaining 45 is going to be taxable okay. Next traveling allowances traveling allowances he received 600 rupees per month into 12 months total of 7200 but he spent only 300 rupees he spent only 300 rupees for official purpose so whatever the amount he used for official purpose it is exempt remaining taxable so 3600 is taxable next employer contribution to rpf 15 percent of salary again now what is salary salary is nothing but da basic salary commission so basic salary is given da they have not mentioned in the problem that it is part of retirement benefit they are not mentioned right so directly take only on basic salary so what is the basic salary basic salary is rupees 3 lakh on 3 lakh compute 15 percent you will get 45,000 next exempt up to 12 percent of salary so 12 percent of salary again only you know basic salary is given compute 12 percent on basic salary 36,000 balance 9,000 taxable next water bill paid by employer yes 8,000 rupees electricity paid by employer 5,000 rupees now total the outer column total the outer column 3 lakh plus 2 lakh 10,000 plus 6,000 plus 16,800 plus 19,200 plus 50,000 plus 45,000 and plus 3,600 plus 9,000 plus 8,000 and plus 5,000 total comes to rupees 6 lakh 72,600 6 lakh 72,600 from this less standard deduction standard deduction is always fixed how much 50,000 so standard deduction and professional tax paid of 2400 balance 6 lakh 20200 this value is called income from salary got it so i hope all of you understood so 6 lakh 20200 is the income from salary of druthi for the assessment year 22 23 Moving on to the next problem, Mr. Raghu has furnished the following details, compute his taxable salary for the assessment year. Okay. So basic salary 48,000, DA 1,200, it is also part of retirement benefit. Next CCA 2,000 per month, HRA 3,000 per month and 6,000 paid as rent. Next bonus 20,000, children education allowance 400 per month for two children medical allowances 1000 rupees per month conveyance allowances 200 per month only 150 spent okay next e and his employer contributes 15 percent of salary towards rpf next he has been provided with a small car so by using this you are supposed to solve the problem so now basic salary what is the basic salary 48000 into 12 months you will get 5,76,000 DA. So DA is how much? 1,200 rupees into 12 months. How much you will get? You will get 14,400. CCA is given. What is CCA value? 2,000 into 12 months. So you will get 24,000. Children education allowance. How much he is giving? He is giving 400 rupees per child for two children. Total value comes to 9,600. But what is our exemption limit? 100 rupees per child for two children for 12 months. So 2,400 remaining 7,200 taxable. Next HRA. So what is the HRA received? HRA received is 3,000 per month. Total comes to 36,000. Right? Here we are supposed to take first in the inner column. Next less HRA received again 36,000. Rent paid. What is the rent paid? Rent paid is 6,000 per month. Right? 6,000 per month. So 72,000, 6,000 into 12 months, 72 minus 10% of salary. So now what is salary? Basic DA commission. So commission is not given. Basic salary is there and DA is there. So now total these two, okay? Total DA and basic salary because DA is part of retirement benefit. So how much you will get if you take both DA and basic salary and compute 10%, you'll get 55,000 
680. So deduct, you will get balance of 12,960. Next, 40% of salary. Okay, he is in Mangalore. In Mangalore, population is less than 25 lakh. So 40% of salary. Again, on basic salary and DA, compute 40%, you will get 2,36,160. So in these three items, in these three items, whichever is less, whichever is less. So 12,960 is the least amount. Deducted from 36,000, you will get balance of 23,040. Balance of 23,040. Next bonus, it is given 20,000. And medical allowances is given how much? 1,000 rupees per month into 12 months, you will get 12,000. Next, conveyance allowances, it is 2,400. Okay, total. What is the conveyance allowances they had given? Conveyance allowances is 200 rupees per month, 150 spent. So if you compute 200 rupees into 12 months, you will get 2,400. But in that, only 150 is spent for official purpose. So 150 into 12, 1,800. So deduct 1,800, remaining 600, it is not spent for official purpose, so it is taxable. Next, employer contribution to RPF, 15% of salary. Now on what you are supposed to compute 15%? Compute 15% on these two, 5,76,000 and 14,400. You will get the value of 88,560, 88,560. Less exempt up to 12% of salary. Again, compute 12% on basic salary and DA, you will get 70,848. So balance 17,712 is the taxable RPF. Car facility, your car is a small car. Small car. So for car, how much? 1,800. For driver, 900. So value, 21,600, 10,800. Total comes to 32,400. So now total the outer column, you will get the total of 7,27,352. So from that deduct the standard deduction of 50,000 rupees, balance you will get 6,77,352. That value is called what? Income from salary. So 6,77,352 is called income from salary. So this is how you are supposed to solve the problems. In the exams, he's going to ask more about HRA, motor car allowances and motor car facility and education allowance. So you have to be you know, confident about what is the minimum deduction we are supposed to give with respect to education allowances and how to compute car facility if it is provided for big car and small car and how to compute rent free accommodation as well as how to compute HRA. So with this, I'm going to wind up the session. So I'll come up with few more new topics in the upcoming sessions. Until then, thank you all. Have a nice day. Namaste.